I'm gonna let you. Uh, I'm gonna let you talk about the uh, the cabs you play. Okay. The square. <laughs> They're loud. There's a lot of mistakes coming out of all of them. <laughs> no, they're <laughs> they're, uh, they're 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 actually round. We made them round now. <laughs> and, uh, they're clear. So this is something actually to talk about. So what we did is we made them clear. <laughs> I, I don't know. Okay, uh, they're, they're they're orange cabinets. Uh, I like them. This is very. Uh, um, this is a technical part of the. What's it called? But yeah, this yeah, they're they're not they're not round, and I'm I'm sorry for leading you guys on. <laughs> well, we're glad you that you play them, and uh, well, we're, they're I'm, not I, round. I like I like them. I mean, uh, the reason I mainly play orange cabinets is because the only cabinet cabinet I've, I've kicked at full velocity that doesn't blink. <laughs> and that is the truth. <laughs> I mean, one time I remember it broke my toe before I broke it. <laughs> that's, when, that's before I started wearing boots, and now I wear boots, and I, that motherfucker not have a chance. <laughs> I'll kick the shit out of those orange cabinets now. Uh, God damn it. Sorry, there's any kids in the house. I'll hold one up like a football for you when we're done. You can just put it into the crowd for us. I mean, they don't fly well, but they do kick good. You, know what I mean? <laughs> you can't really get one to travel far, but you can get a smack down on I, I remember just hurting myself a couple of good times. Thinking about you guys. Try steel toe boots. Yeah, thank you. I've never heard of that. Well, you want to play through uh, through some songs for us? And, uh, yeah, what do you, you yell at me for the tone? What do you got in mind there, uh, Rory? Uh, let's play some, uh... Just uh, it is. How about I play you guys a new Fiend song you've never heard in your life? So, I'm sorry, that was called dead air. If you, guys are, if you weren't so needy. If you guys are, just happened. I mean, trust me, I, I just space. you just saw me just space. I think whatever, just space. <laughs> this is great. Sorry, guy in the red shirt, I want to thank the most, everyone. Because <laughs> when we were all spacing out, someone could have came in here. We didn't stop that shit. How you just fuck my day up. 
take the daily off before I kill you. <laughs> Just a freight train, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Thank you. 
up. What I'm trying to do on all that stuff is just hide. It's just you just kind of hide and play guitar. After you've been playing guitar for so your whole life, you don't you don't really want to be in the foreground. You want to hide and play guitar. You want to hide and make an effect. You want to try to make. It's more like mood making. Um, once a band like Mastodon because it becomes of a, a, a household name or some kind of substance value to anyone, you you don't want to trick people. You you want to give them what they're looking for. They're looking for. They know that I can play like the, like 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 you, you, forbidden stuff. You're like, oh, yeah, I don't know. If, I, don't, I don't know if I, my mom doesn't. Sounds evil. You go to hell if you listen. To me. Once you come to a certain point in your life and you know that there is no hell or heaven and we can all live in harmonious in this fucking piece of shit that we call earth and I mean, you, can, you can be as evil as you want behind your instrument and you can speak your mind. That, this is my mind. This is what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to say that music is beautiful. I'm still uh, trying my hardest to understand it. Um, uh, it, it. It's an infinite knowledge of beauty. All right, take a take a couple questions. Uh, hands up, I'll punch you out. Yes, sir. Um, all the guitars you play, like Paul Reed Smith, Fender, Gretsch, what's the most comfortable guitar like to play? Man, it's uh, how it just it just depends on how the guitar is anchored. Uh, when you put it on your when you're with, with a strap, are you talking about sitting down or standing up? Like all around. Well, like all around would be like I think of an ES, uh, any kind of ES Gibson, you know, 335, 135, 445, 440. Any, any of those ES uh, double cutaway Chuck Berry guitars are very comfortable sit down guitars. Also, very comfortable stand up guitars. I mean, I think I, I find me personally gravitating towards that scale rundown as far as my stature is concerned as a guitar player. Uh, it just fits me. You know, I can hunker down on it. And that and an SG. Good stuff. Purple hat. Cold Dark Place, I saw a pre-order came out today. Is that real? Yeah, yeah, it's real. It's coming out. Go buy it now. Yes, sir. Speaking of the album, Emperor of Sand, what scales do you mainly use in your guitar playing that album? Um, vodka and cranberry. <laughs> 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 no, no, I don't, I don't, I'm not like the guy that's like knowing that stuff. I don't know. Like, I'm, you know tell me what scale this is. That's like some of the scales, but I think it's three of the scales right there. Sure. But if, you, if you break it down, periodic table style. Who Gandhi will slap you? I don't know. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. What tuning do you use live and far in the studio? Pretty standard, or no? we try to stay um, within the tuning that we're supposed to be in. That's a good question too, because we never are in tune. And I, you know, <laughs> well, I actually depends on depends on tuning the guitar, right? I'm yeah. Right. Yeah, I, I I don't do anything right. It's kind of like a. <laughs> you feel, yeah, do you feel good? <laughs> I feel okay. I know I didn't take a right, but I was uh, taking a left. <laughs> yes? Uh, during like, a songwriting or demo writing process, do you ever uh, come up with any tunings that you can throw in songs yourself? What's that, buddy? Uh, do you ever like, tune the guitar in a weird way that's not conventional? Totally, yeah. Earlier today. We did it earlier today. I mean, I, yeah. <laughs> this is my worst enemy. <laughs> yeah. We, 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 it happens a lot, yeah. That's how Cold Dark Place was written, actually. All, all, all just unconventional tunings. Me just trying to figure out how to tie my shoes with a cast on. <laughs> yes.
Stop, stop. Such a cock smoking asshole, then we might have some of the fucking business. Go for it. Um, so the last couple albums, I noticed uh, you haven't been singing a lot lately. Is that, is there a you try singing in a fucking band that got down drunk and some fucking crash like, somewhere. Why don't, you, why don't you try singing in a band that the drummer hits the crash symbol louder than you can sing? I have tried, it sucks. <laughs> Yeah, I give up. I mean, whatever. Look at those guys. Hey, you play your band. So much fun. Okay, but it's so fun when you're not having fun. Well, what's up? Uh, it kind of goes to the same thing. You guys played Download Festival about 10 years ago. And you guys were playing the Cycle of Sasquatch. What was, what was up with your voice? Um, I put a beaver in my throat. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. Yeah, you might have been sick or something. I might have been. I mean, you might have been too critical, I guess. Like, like one moment in my life, you're, 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 you're judging about what was up with my... Are you German? You do have a new first shirt. He's talking about when you had the throat cold and you sounded like a, an awesome, like, pterosaur. It just sounded way too awesome, I guess was the problem. <laughs> Based on your friend's uh, observation, it was. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go with the answer. It was too awesome. <laughs> this one was wrong with it. It's okay. Put your sunglasses on. You're cool. <laughs> Anybody else? This guy right here. Yes, sir. Go for it. Hey, when you were learning to play. Um, I'm still learning to play. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> yesterday. Uh, when you were younger, what kind of stuff did you cut your teeth on? Like specifically, um, did you hear a lead or something and just try to emulate that? You ever seen the show Hee Haw? Hee Haw. Hey, what's up? Are you gonna be in uh, Game of Thrones anymore? I am. On August 20th, I'm gonna make another guest appearance in Game of Thrones. According to the applause meter. <laughs> let's, uh, let's take one more question from the German's friend. <laughs> uh, what song is most personal to you off of Emperor Saint? Jaguar God. I mean, it's, I only wrote a handful of songs. On. I, I wrote Jaguar God and then I wrote the. Uh, Andromeda. Andromeda, yeah, I wrote this. So, I mean, I, I, mean, I only wrote those two songs. So, I, I think I like the. Uh, the, that's kind of appealing to me. I don't know. I like, I'm more of like a uh, town band type of guy, you know? I like all this fucking spaghetti. 
<laughs> I like that guitar over there with the fucking trimmel. You know, I like I like cowboy hats and scarves and stuff. I don't wear them because they're gay. <laughs> <laughs> and we live in Florida. Oh, you guys do. All right, let's do uh, let's do one more and then yes, sir. And then in the back. What was your first amp? My first amp was a crate. Yeah. A crate. One ten. A crate one ten. Yep. Yeah. Everyone had a gorilla, but I, I didn't have the gorilla, I had the crate. I could have had a V8, but I had a crate. So. Did you kick that one too? I can't remember. My memory went out. Like, it, it, it's a spontaneous uh, uh, blessing. What's the first guitar you used to The first guitar I ever had was a guitar that my dad had acquired from some guy that he had worked with because I was a kid. I'm going all around to everyone at my dad's work talking to them about, can I, do you have a guitar? Basically patronizing my dad's workers, like, you know, I, you got, you know, like, you're, you're Richard, sir? No, Jeremy. Jeremy, I'm sorry. Some other guy. It's a, you know, like, hey, Jeremy, like, you know, what's up? You, know, you can't do your work. You know, and then my dad's like, man, what the fuck you gotta do? You know, he ain't gonna get you know, Jerry, what I gotta do to get that off his balls again. And you gotta get to work really. I got one, I got one. And you give it to me, and then you're off the hook, you're scot free, you pension plan, or it's really. <laughs> well, all right, everybody, uh, everybody, big round of applause for. for I'm not sure why we're all here or why we're applauding, but thank you very much. Thank you. And I do appreciate whatever it is that I'm supposed to be. I'm just really confused about all this, so. <laughs> this will not be in my book that I'll never write. <laughs> it was, uh, I'll, I'll write it for you, man. It's okay. Hey, man. You know. um, big thanks to Replay. Uh, thank you so much for having us. Uh, thank you, everybody, for coming out. Thank you guys.